welcome back to the channel how is everybody i hope everybody's doing great today's video is filmed in real time so no fast forwarding anything but this is a voiceover because i am watching something um in the original video so today we're going to be doing an unboxing a i like to call anything bigger than two purchases is, is huge for me um but i'm also on the penny benching side so that's just that and i have a ton of products today and i just can't wait to show you guys and to show you one that i find really useful and i can't wait to do a video for you guys so make sure you're stay tuned coming up you guys do see esmeralda we haven't used esmeralda in a while and we'll talk about that in just a minute so i do have some packages from amazon um this first one has to do with esmeralda this is the silpoxy silicone epoxy glue and basically it fixes silicone props hands anything like that so the story behind me purchasing this <laughs> esmeralda is broken and i have not been able to use her for a while because my i was doing a set of nails i remember exactly when this happened you can see the huge rip on the side i was doing a set of nails on her and he i had finished and he had came and picked her up and was playing with it on my shoulder and pushed the nail down or pushed the hand down really hard to the point where it ripped the silicone so i have been unable to use her for quite some time and i've been really sad she's just been sitting on a shelf i've been doing a lot of research on how to fix it my hand is from glamour liz um, i didn't purchase it directly from glamour liz i bought this actually from somebody on ebay so um that i you know i couldn't go back to glamour liz and be like i need help um i had to go find it on my own so doing my research i've been following red iguana which is pretty much the og of silicone hands um and they had a video featuring the silpoxy and i thought um y'all just buy it from red iguana it's the same price it's probably it's 50 cents less on <laughs> red iguana but it's 25 dollars on amazon you only need a little bit so I do wind up using that and to fix Esmeralda so if you guys have a hand that is broken or a finger that is broken um, you know I, I will make a video on how to fix that because I really want to use her and now you'll see I have two so to begin I am going to be unboxing this this little package first um, I honestly thought it was a tool for my husband <laughs> I just he has access to the Amazon account now so it he can buy whatever and I thought it was a tool for my husband but these are um, rhinestone remover this is a rhinestone remover tool or pliers or whatever but this room this is what this is made for <laughs> I have gone through my one of my favorite pairs of nail clippers or not nail clippers but um cuticle nippers i messed up trying to remove rhinestones y'all this is heavy duty as heck like it sits flat against my nail as you can see so it really gets underneath all of the the stones so it's great for really thick nails if you need to cut, cut them off too because this has the power to do so um, but do not mess up your your cuticle nippers by trying to remove rhinestones unless you know you have a pair that you can just completely f up use that but these were like eight bucks um, there are other sellers who do have them um, I am just an Amazon junkie unfortunately and I I, I do I do I do need to purchase from smaller people instead of Amazon but it's I, I there's no way for I they and we all know that no one can match Amazon shipping speed but that's not the point here um support small businesses don't be like me so I speaking of other businesses I do wind up purchasing um some more cover acrylic powder um I bought Mia Secret um the Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush, which is a nude cover from them. Um, I've liked the Mia Secret Cover colors for as far as I've been doing nails and doing acrylics, really. Um, they work. All of them work with every skin tone. But this was a huge jar, <laughs> first of all. And, um, you know, I appreciated that for the, for the cost of it. Um, and, you know, I just needed some more cover powder. Only one I have right now is Cover Pink. So I am working on my cover to core ratio. Um, that is something I do definitely need to work on. Cover and co cover, color and core ratios. 
something that you guys definitely should check out Nuni Torres for. Um, and so now I, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm addicted. I'm I'm addicted. I'm not. I'm addicted to the shininess of the stones. Um, I do plan on purchasing Preciosa and uh, Estella and the other brands, but these are available. You know, these are available at my local Hobby Lobby. Um, the ones I bought before were at Michael's. Everything I've linked down in the description box below. I just walked into the store to buy these. I prefer purchasing them in store. Um, and I am addicted to the shine. Now, I will 110% state that Preciosa, because Swarovski, I'm, I'm honestly doing this to, not just because the stones are good and it's what they're known for, but honestly buying what I can because after I think October or August they're no longer selling to nail techs um, because apparently we're trashy so if we're trashy I'm gonna trash it up I also wanted to show you guys the difference between a Swarovski and the rhinestones you buy on eBay y'all it's a difference the difference is it's the actual stone so what I'm gonna get up and close and personal and this is you'll see the same thing with um, Preciosa and Estella uh, crystals as well they're actual crystals these are most likely um, plastic that's painted after a while I've noticed on a lot of these they're the the coloration of it comes off um, like it scratches away you won't get that with a high quality glass cut crystal like Swarovski like Preciosa like Estella like you know the other all these other companies that are coming out with Swarovski replacements because we're trashy um, this it's literally the stuff you buy that's super cheap is painted on I just want y'all to know the difference like it's just it's these crystals with a with some type of paint on top of it because like I said you got like it's just it's just like the the soap holographic foil like it's a big it's a big difference so if you guys are really looking for like the shimmery water type of uh of look for your stones on your hands go buy the real deal <laughs> a deal is a deal but put your money where it's actually like if you really want the look of it if you really want that like the like these clear the clear is what really brought everything to full circle for me clear crystals I have always hated they've always been just flat it's always been looking like at a raised mirror but when I bought these it looks like the diamond on my finger it looks like my diamond earrings but on my nail and that means a lot in quality so if y'all want real high quality nails you see people walking around with nail sets that cost six hundred dollars because of the stones there's a reason behind that like this is quality honey look at that i'm not even doing anything and that's that's a this one is called i think it's called nightshade i don't remember 100 percent, but this is one of my favorite colors and if that gray can make all of these rainbow as colors like a diamond bro that says something so i just wanted to bring out the true comparison of why people go bonkers over a swarovski um and why you really people who know the difference you can't pass off those crystals to a swarovski glass cut there's just no way like in the pack there's there's nothing like that that should look like water in that particular sense i mean blue street crystals is a big seller of all of all types of crystals from all brands um and they posted preciosa crystals and y'all it looked like the ocean oh my goodness no filter it just the sparkle on it was so crazy i also want to show the difference between like the bigger stones or the shaped cut stones so i do have these heart crystals um that i purchased from amazon um compared next to actual Swarovski heart crystals and the immediate difference is the level of shimmer like yeah they shine but the Swarovski catches every single ray of light no matter where it's at the other one you only see I see blue a lot like I see blue a lot <laughs> I see the reflections of the color in different angles and different parts of the cut on the Swarovski I just I just really want to drill that home to you guys like 
these packs are relatively affordable if you're looking for something quick but if not i highly suggest that you buy and look at um, actual retail sellers um zule is a retail seller um blue streak crystals is a retail seller there's there's tons of retail sellers that have hundreds of options of different shapes and sizes of crystals but you like a hundred percent you want to spend twenty dollars on crystals that's fine you spend twenty dollars on swarovski swarovski you make 150 guaranteed like guaranteed you might upcharge crystals crystal slash rhinestones you might upcharge maybe i would say five dollars per nail swarovski honey is smooth 15 smooth smooth and extra bling the big big bling mm. that stuff is worth every single penny that people pay for like i used to think i really was against like super big stones like i used to look at jenny's secret nails and be like why are those stones so big but you're paying for diamonds you're paying for diamonds on your hands, you guys. You wanna be that? You wanna be BBE? That bitch, everything? Oh, so you you? That's what you want, right? You want the diamonds on your not just on your neck, not just on your wrist, not just on your not just on the fingers. You want them on your nails. You better pay. Like this, is so worth it. The look of it is so worth it. I'm just going on and on and on like really really 110 percent you guys if you guys are really interested in serious superior crystals this is these are the people you need to go to Swarovski um until they stop selling us selling it to us uh Preciosa Estella Blue Street Crystals Zule um that's, those are the really the other ones I know off the top of my head that are licensed but like it's it's gorgeous so I am I do need to purchase some more storage containers for these um, and I'm probably gonna wind up having a separate box for for all of these crystals because I mean just mm, I, I can tell the difference but like I just they have to have their own separate box they're just that top tier <laughs> excuse me so that was my purchase from Hobby Lobby like I said you can get these at Hobby Lobby I got the other ones I used before in my Swarovski video um, I got those at Michaels and I left the links for you can purchase them online like I said but I am a big fan of walking into the store and seeing the color um, especially depending on the ideas that I have in my head at that particular moment in time and just knowing that I can walk out and go home and I have them ready this color is literally my absolute favorite and I bought it in three different sizes because I just that gray that shimmery gray I I don't even know how to how to I know I'm definitely gonna use it for Halloween for sure so I have to find an orange this is a nice mint color oh my goodness mint, I've never seen mint shimmer like that we know we had to get the electros because I want to see how they how they react in UV light because my I'm just the glow bug <laughs> and that was the green and then this is the yellow super super cute and I've never really been into like solid color stones before so this is a big turn for me this purple really jumped out because I know my mom would love these <laughs> I just think they're so cute it's such a pretty lavender and I like I like you guys saw I have the these blue oh these blue are so freaking gorgeous they mm, blue is favorite color um, and then oil slick just oh my goodness those I could not help but pick these up these are absolutely gorgeous and then I picked up the hearts um, and those came in different colors and I picked up <clears throat> um, these are in light Siam I think rose and clear really cute and the other ones that I picked up um, these are the flame oh my goodness y'all this flame that orange flame tell me that doesn't look like an actual flame tell me that don't look like an actual flame you see it go from red to orange like that is so i have to have more i have to have more so i just like oof i can't i don't think i could find that particular color anywhere else 
especially with that shine. I'm just so mesmerized. I'm gonna chill out. <laughs> I'm chilling out for real this time. So like I said, I'm gonna put these away um, a little bit later and I, I'm most likely gonna wind up getting a whole separate box for them um, just because quality is quality, baby. <laughs> And now we're going to go ahead and move on to, I have two more packages left. This is, this one I really was kind of excited for. Um, I am, if y'all saw my last video, the disaster of a yellow, I mean clear, because it was supposed to be clear apparently. I had to buy a new clear. So I figured that the... The monomer that I purchased called Carlash, I figured that their clear would be, you know, would be pretty decent. So I went ahead and purchased it. This came actually as a kit. Um, and the Amazon listing only has it as just the monomer and the acrylic. Not a big deal. So opening the box, there's actually more than that. <laughs> and I was not expecting any of this. They give you all these free gifts. The bottle just looks like that because of transport. It does like shrink in. Um, this stuff is actually MMA free. I have used it before and I have soaked it off and I, I'm i in love. It doesn't smell. Um, it smells like flowers, honestly. They give you a cute little dappin dish, which was, I love the packaging. I love the entire like theme of the packaging. It just, it worked and everything fits so well. It just all, it still matches. So you get a free dappin dish, which I think is cool. Everything I'm just putting away <laughs> and so I, just do it right away and don't have it sitting on my desk for a month they give you an awesome little buffing block uh, it's like an 80 grit I think they also give you a 80 grit file uh, which is nice especially for the short nail babes and of course the clear acrylic it is a four ounce jar of clear acrylic and like I said this came as a kit um, and it's full 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 I really want to see if it's actually crystal clear. I'm having a lot of trouble with my clear yellowing. So I, um, I'll i be purchasing my Valentino kit this weekend um, just because I've, I've seen the results with it and it speaks for itself. So I'll finally have Valentino. Um, I'm kind of excited. I just, you know, I don't, I'm not a product junkie, but I, the yellowing, the yellowing, y'all, is unacceptable. Like, absolutely. I thought there was um, plastic all around it, but there's not. It should, the jar just looks that good. There is um, this on there. I, this one, I really don't like these unless there's like a tab where I can pull. Um, I just find that really kind of irritating that there's no tab for me to pull to make it easy. So, but this, it's sealed. It's full, like I said, like full all the way to the top you see the powder right there like they're not gonna give you four ounces in a six ounce jar and be like whoa no <laughs> the kind of cheat is this <laughs> if you don't give it all the six ounces but the fight it's very finely milled um so i do like that and i just really can't wait to use it i do plan on using this in an upcoming set so of course make sure you're subscribed for that and then in the box they have like a review uh, I can't review because Amazon apparently thinks I get all my stuff for free, but all right. <laughs> and that's a different story for never. Um, and they give you a reminder to, to help. They do state again that it is an MMA free product, unlike the other one that we shall not name, the company that shall not be named. <laughs> and um, they tell you, you know where you can contact them and this, that, and the third very nice of them um but i the other the other company just, mm, just bullshit lie so and then um the other thing in the box is just there another card so i took i think i took a picture of this for whatever reason <laughs> and um just another card did you like it money back guarantee yada 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 so I just I throw this all away because I don't relatively need it anymore like I said I just I'm just putting stuff away quote-unquote uh, 
and I really enjoyed this and I enjoyed this entire unboxing experience for the car lash product this wasn't sponsored in any shape or form uh, but I truly enjoyed the the unboxing experience for that because it was just very it was really nicely done I did like the fact that they had plastic wrapped the entire box to make sure nothing gets spilled or opened or anything like that now on to the finale this is the one I've been waiting for I did show this on my Instagram when I got it and I was so excited to do the video for this I want to give a big shout out to um, it's Casey nails and she this was not like a, a planned thing or anything um, I just decided to give her a shout out because she really put everybody on to this I did watch her video um, I did leave a link to her channel if you guys are interested in checking her out um, the hand that I bought is, like I said, from Glamourless. It's not a poseable. Um, the poseables back then cost a lot more. And of course, like I said, I couldn't use it because she's been out of commission for months. <laughs> and I just, I needed something else to practice on. Um, so seeing Casey's video definitely helped me out and where to purchase one. These used to be super expensive back in the day, but this entire kit probably was about 60 bucks with tax. It comes with the hand, it comes with nail cutters, and it comes with three glass files. Um, the tips are full cover tips, so if you needed them, you got them. I did try inserting them into the hand prior to this, uh, I do not recommend. I highly suggest that you guys find tips that um, one can fit into the hand without damaging it, um, but two have a, have a little bit more length uh, because these just kind of just like sit there and it's, it's like what do you do with it? <laughs> Why is it just sitting there? Um, I honestly didn't know what this was when I looked at the listing. Um, I couldn't tell you what I thought it was, like at all, but come to find out they're glass files. Uh, probably wind up throwing these into a giveaway one day when I eventually do one just because I know I'm not going to use them at all uh, but they are cute and they come on their little covers like I said they, they give you a nail tip cutter um, mine broke <laughs> one of I have I do have one but one of mine broke so you know thank you I appreciate that it's awesome even though the nails are short uh, <laughs> and then we're let's move on to the hand so Esmeralda has a name, so we have to name our hand. So if you guys have a name for the hand that you think will be good, leave it in the comments and I'll wind up picking the best one at some point. Um, the hand is very nicely wrapped and it is a poseable hand. So some of her fingers are like in the way or just kind of like look wild. It is poseable. So for a $60 hand, it's not terrible. Um, it's the fact that it's posable. I don't know if y'all remember the Barbie dolls from back in the day. Um, I was born in 94, for those of you guys who don't know. So, if you guys had a Barbie doll, the, the legs would bend and they would, like, make a noise. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever played with them like that to, like, make them walk. But this doesn't make a noise. They do remind me of Barbie doll bendy legs. So, I do like that it is posable. Um, it's, it'd be so much fun to... <laughs> to pose this I think that's super cool now in comparing the two obviously you get what you pay for um, originally this half hand for glamour Liz probably cost about a hundred or uh, definitely more than 60 bucks <laughs> when I bought it I think I paid 80 um, and that was already used and you can tell there's there's the channels for the nail to go in don't feel they don't feel natural um there's not as much detailing obviously um casey did mention on hers that they do have fingerprints they do have fingerprints they're very very faint um the glamour liz ones do as well but i don't think you'll be able to use it to rob any banks or get into like masterminded heists or anything like that where you have to use your finger to print <laughs> but it's 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 a decently made hand like I said this one you obviously get what you pay for these cost upwards of a hundred dollars you can see all of the detail of the hand um, right there fingerprints and all and it's just the hand overall is just made I would say a hundred percent better I'm not even gonna lie um, this 
The feeling of the one I bought from Amazon is a lot silkier compared to the Glamourless one. It doesn't feel like a regular hand. It feels like um, a mannequin hand uh, with some ridging, but not like a lot. Um, it's more obviously realistic uh, than the other one, but it does look good. I know it'll look good in pictures. Now my biggest thing, my biggest issue with the hand that I purchased from Amazon is the nail channel. Um, they f they look rather flimsy. The nail bed is relatively small. Um, trying to put this tip in, as you see, it's gonna it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look very weird, and I just mm, I'm afraid to tear the the material. Um, and you can see it's sticking to the tip and that causes a lot of concern I don't think that channel is very deep either it's also very 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 thin um, you can see the nail straight through and that's a clear nail tip uh, like I said the nail beds are relatively they're definitely narrower na more narrow than um, the glamorless ones so it does work in the sense of giving you and op a ch more of a challenge to work on a narrow nail bed if you're looking for something like that because um, they do exist in real life people with narrow nail beds do exist um, and the wider nail bed is you know something good as well for those who want to practice on that so I did take my spatula tool to test the um, the depth of that nail channel and it's not very deep at all I still highly suggest however that you purchase some nail tips meant for a silicone hand um, using just regular tips I don't think will work as you can see the nail channel for the glamorless one it every time I do this it makes me really uncomfortable <laughs> but it's super deep it goes almost all the way back to the knuckle so you can use these longer tips on it without any problem at all um, that one probably goes back to the, the first knuckle if that so it's just see and you can see where you can see through I, that makes me uncomfortable too <laughs> But, I mean, it's it's a decent hand. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to return it. We're definitely going to be using her. If you guys want to come up with a name for her, that's great. Um, if not, I'll come up with one. And, you know, I just want to see, I want to be able to put more designs out there without having to change my nails too, too often. Um, because, I, you know, changing them a lot isn't a big deal. But it is time consuming. Um, I'd rather just do do them on here and uh, on my practice hands and just go from there so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing video I hope that you guys um, you know check out the products below I earn zero money from them so at your own discretion and none of this was sponsored uh, I just you know I, I put things out now because I feel like it uh, and I can't wait to fix Esmeralda with you guys in the next video. And I can't wait to show you guys what designs I come up with. So, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. If you come up with the name for our new hand friend, um, she is a lefty. Yes, she is a lefty. <laughs> um, let's come up with a name for her. Maybe a backstory. That'd be fun. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me in this video. I can't wait to fix Esmeralda. I'm, I'm actually going to fix her literally right after this. Like, literally right after this. Following Red Iguana's instructions though. So, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.